Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making the farmer's breakfast from the Final Fantasy Online cookbook. The ingredients I'm going to be using are two small russet potatoes that I've roughly cubed up, a little over a half of a pound of kielbasa that I've roughly cut, three strips of a thick cut bacon that I've cut into large sized chunks, and two shallots that I've roughly chopped. For our spicing, we're going to use two teaspoons of oregano, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and then I've got one tablespoon of olive oil, and we're going to hold all this together with five whole eggs. Those are all our ingredients, so let's go ahead and start bringing this dish together. The first thing I'm going to do is add my potatoes into a larger bowl and coat them with the olive oil as well as our seasonings. And then I'm just going to go in here and make sure that they're all evenly distributed around all the potatoes. You want to make sure you really get that olive oil all over all of them so they don't stick to your baking sheet while they're cooking in the oven. Now that I have my potatoes liberally coated with the olive oil and the seasonings, I'm going to put these into a 425 degree oven for about 30 minutes. About 20 minutes in, I'm going to pull them out, flip them over so both sides brown up evenly, and then after the 30 minutes, I'll go ahead and pull them out and set these to the side while we bring the rest of our dish together. I've got about 10 minutes left on the potatoes, so now I'm going to start lightly browning up the kielbasa. It's not going to take very long. The kielbasa is already cooked. We're just looking for a light golden brown on both sides. As these start to brown up, I'm going to go ahead and remove them out of the pan over to a plate. Now that I have the kielbasa out of the pan, I'm going to go ahead and start crisping up my bacon. As your bacon gets browned up, go ahead and remove it over to the same plate as the kielbasa. Now I did go ahead and put a piece of paper towel down there to help catch any of the extra remaining bacon fat that's on it. Now I did remove the majority of the bacon grease that was in here. I left about a tablespoon that I'm going to use to uh, saute up my shallots for roughly three minutes or until they just start to soften up. It's been about three minutes since I added the shallots to the pan. They're starting to soften up nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my roasted potatoes. And I'm also going to go ahead and add the kielbasa back into the pan, as well as the bacon. And then you want to be sure to stir these really well until they're well combined. Now that I have everything combined in the pan, I've gone ahead and beat my five eggs. And all we have to do now is pour the eggs evenly over our meat and potatoes. I want to make sure I submerge some of this kielbasa down into the eggs. And what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do now is cover this up and cook it on a medium low, covered for about seven to ten minutes, or until the eggs are just starting to set. I've had the farmer's breakfast cooking for about eight minutes under the lid and my eggs are just set. Now I do still have a few little pockets here where the eggs aren't completely cooked through and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to pop it into the oven under the broiler for about two minutes just to allow the top part of the eggs to cook completely through. The farmer's breakfast is out of the oven and I did go ahead and let it sit on the counter for about 10 minutes just to allow it to cool down a little bit. I didn't want to burn my mouth on it when we give it a try. I have to say, this thing smells absolutely incredible. The potatoes, while they were kicking, smelled so good. I really wanted to dive right into them as soon as I went in there to turn them over. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get in here and try this out. Mmm, this is so good. I will say though, for my personal taste, I want just a little bit of hot sauce on it. This turned out incredibly well. I wasn't a little bit afraid that there was too much oregano on the potatoes. 
but honestly we didn't really add any seasoning at all to the to the eggs so that extra residual seasoning kind of got in there and flavored the eggs once I poured them on top of the potatoes absolutely perfect dish I love this so much the hot sauce really a great addition to it doesn't call for it in the book but it definitely works here overall I really do like this dish and I will definitely be making this again but that is going to be it for me for the day if you guys have enjoyed this video leave me a comment down below if you guys tried this recipe out let me know how it turned out for you and as always thank y'all so very much for joining me today I've been Vault Girl I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I'll see you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.